Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Whales on TV. Today I will be answering the question how do whales and dolphins breed? First, we have to keep in mind that cetaceans are mammals like humans, so they do have lungs and they must breathe in the air. But their respiratory system has specific adaptation to their underwater life. In whales, the breathing cycle takes just one or two seconds, even less with dolphins. Cetaceans have the capacity to renew 90% of the air in their lungs with each inhalation. In comparison, humans can renew only 10 to 15 percent. So how do they breathe then? Cetaceans use the blowholes to breathe, which are the equivalent of human nostrils. During evolution, the blowholes migrated to the top of the head, making it easier to breathe on the water surface. Baleen whales have two blowholes, while tooth whales have only one blowhole. Do you know that breathing is conscious in whales and dolphins and not automatic like land mammals? It's because the blowhole is closed when the muscles are relaxed. Whales and dolphins must actively open it by contracting the muscles around it. When cetaceans inhale, the air passes through the blowhole, the nasal passage, the larynx, the trachea and finally the lungs. Then, oxygen diffuses from the lungs to the blood and most of the oxygen is saved in the blood and in the muscles' tissues. This is important because lungs collapse while diving deep, which prevents damage from high water pressures. When cetaceans exhale, warm air, including carbon dioxide, is expelled with force. The expiration starts often underwater, making a bubble trail. After breaking the surface, the strong expiration clears the upper respiratory passages and skin around the blowholes of any residual water. But did you know that the blow expirate also contains mucus from airways and lungs? Finally, the explosive nature of the expiration, the blow, is one of the most apparent well behavior that humans can observe at the surface. The shape of the blow can even help in the identification of the world species from a distance. If you enjoyed this episode and want to continue learning about cetaceans, like and subscribe to our channel and check the other episode. Thank you to watching and see you next time.